Hey, Daryl, what are you working on? Hey, Colin. Uh, I've just started with a layout uh, for a good customer of ours in the oil field industry that makes equipment that goes down hole. And what they'd like to do is measure axial and torsional loads. And we're looking at developing a custom sensor through our advanced uh, sensors group. I don't know if you're familiar with the advanced sensors group, but this is a, a relatively new part of our company that can, using a new technology, make strain gauges that are much smaller and also much higher resistance than we could ever before. And in this, in this application, I think it really fits because this thing's going to be battery powered. So uh, power consumption is a real big concern. So we're going to boost that resistance up in order to reduce that, that current draw. And right now we're looking at using a 10,000 ohm strain gauge. But this, uh, this new design is to measure axial and torsion. Uh, we're going to develop a custom sensor. Uh, where they can install two of these on each side of the tool and wire them together using a flex circuit. And it really helps to eliminate uh, potential sources of error uh, in the gauge layout, like if you try to use individual gauges. Mm -hmm. Here, you know, we're basically going to have a, a, a one single uh, backing that has both axial and torsional grids on it. So the customer basically puts on two, wires them together with a flex circuit, uh, connects it into their electronics, and they're off and running. And this actually brings up a good point, which is that we do a, a lot of custom strain gauges, and both for stress analysis applications and also for transducer applications. It amazes me that even though we have thousands of different strain gauges to choose from, that our customers can come up with unique ideas and designs that require us to uh, end up quoting them a custom gauge. One of the big advantages to that is that if a customer does get a custom gauge, they basically own the design. Uh, they'll typically pay a relatively small setup fee, uh, but then they own the design of the strain gauge. So basically no one else can ever order it uh, without their permission. And in some cases what you find, and in actually most cases, you'll find that if you do go to a custom gauge, that the... Uh, additional cost associated with the setup charge would be more than paid for in terms of the amount of time and labor it takes to complete the installation. So this will be a proprietary design, the customer will own it. Uh, we're going to send it over to the advanced sensors group because we want it to be high resistance. Um, these grids are going to be very small and they got to be in a very specific location in order to get the axial and the torsional components. And like I mentioned, we're going to use a flex circuit in order to jump the grids together and really eliminate potential problems with running individual wires in such a harsh uh, environment. Another thing I'd like to mention is that some of these uh, custom gauges, you can also add an option to it where we be stage an adhesive. So that can really simplify the installation process. Basically, that means we pre-apply an adhesive. Typically, it's very similar to our M-Bond 43B and we B-stage it, which basically means we dry it out in an oven. So we'll take it, put it in the oven for a few hours, it dries it out, and then typically you got somewhere in the neighborhood of six to eight weeks uh, to be able to take that, clean it, clean the part, put that gauge on, put pressure on it, and then elevate the temperature. And what happens is that adhesive will reflow and it'll bond onto the part. So not only it has the high resistance, not only it has the multi-grids on one backing, and the flex circuit, it can also have an adhesive pre-applied, so we really eliminate a lot of the uh, potential sources of error as well as the labor for the gauge installation. So it really makes the design neat and clean and hopefully very repeatable as well. Are there any other features that we can add to a custom gauge? Well, <clears throat> really the, the number of options is really limitless. It really comes down to how ingenious can our customers be. Uh, what we typically find in the stress analysis side of our business is that a lot of customers are looking to add things like lead wires to the strain gauges to try to minimize the amount of effort it takes, especially if they're out in the field. Where with transducers, it's usually more how can I, how can I eliminate some of the labor and can I put Instead of individual gauges, can I put down one backing that's got multiple grids on it to help streamline the process? And uh, we, 
basically have a whole range of both of those that we provide uh, to customers. So really, if, if you have a customer that's interested in something custom, uh, you know, tell them to reach out to us. They could visit the website to get some information at www.micro-measurements.com, or they can pick up the phone and call us. Uh, 919-365-3800 and press 2 for applications engineering and we've got a staff of applications engineers like yourself that can help customers come up with that unique design and we can quote it for them.